after a massive rejig in the Kish Future Group, Kishore Biani led Future Group's fashion business, has now been listed on the bourses as Future Lifestyle and Fashion. The company has just sold its stake in a brand called Biba Apparels, and there is more unlocking, it seems, uh, on the cards. Sanvi standing by to tell us what this means for the company. Take us through the deal first, Sanvi. Well, uh, Hasha, the uh, Future Ventures was the original company that held stake in Biba Apparels. They had about 27% stake there, which is what they have sold right now. Now, what we understand from sources, because officially the only uh, announcement that has come from the company is that they have sold uh, this, decided to sell the stake. We understand it's been sold to the private equity firm Warburg Pincus. Uh, and between Biba and another company stake uh, that they are looking to sell, which is and which is Anita Dongre's uh, uh, brand itself, uh, they're looking to garner about. 450 crore rupees. So that being said, about the two deals that are currently taking place. But uh, Future Lifestyle and Fashion as a company is actually all of the fashion or lifestyle business that Future Group really had. Mm. Some of it was under Future Retail. So after Pantaloon uh, the format got sold off, they hived off all of the uh, uh, Future brands, uh, the fashion brands from that. And some of these were under Future Ventures, which sure. was a separate investment firm that they had, which was separately listed. Now they've demerged those businesses collected them under this brand and gotten it listed. Sure. The total market cap of this company as of now, I mean, plus and minus a bit as the stock variates, is about 2,000 crore rupees. Mm. But the company really has about 27 brands under it. So, so we spoke about two of the brands, which were Biba and uh, Ant, which got sold for about 450 crore rupees. So two brands have gotten them about 400 crores. Yes. Uh, so is the market really not spotting this opportunity? Is it undervaluing? What is what the potential value of this company could be? Th that's uh, that's what Kishore Vyani tells us, Harsha. That's what he believes is the true story, and it makes sense if you've got brands like Celio, which is an extremely big brand with a lot of uh, uh, stores across formats, not just standalone, but in uh, malls and other stores as well. You've got Turtle, you've got the JV with the international retailer Clarks, so the Clarks comes under this brand itself. You've got Holy Urban Yoga, John Miller. I mean. And all of these are individually big brands that sure. they have built, taking them from smaller regional companies and uh, uh, clothing brands to taking them to a national level now. So all of them put together mm. would definitely be a higher value than the what the market is realizing now. And I think that's his uh, pl plan of action. He wants to unlock value in some of these more. So you'll probably see a Celio, mm. a Turtle, or maybe even a Clarks, where you have their international partners or local partners sure. who would want to buy for the stake. And uh, the um, Future Group will be in cashing more on these investments.